Hello everybody, this is String Gamer back to kick off round 6 for Group B, the penultimate round of my group. And we have got a very important fight card for this session, so check it out. Well, you can see our main event of this session, it is a big game. Echo Fury taking on the tournament host Stranger Gamer. Defeat for the hosts in that matchup, with other results going a specific way, would end any hopes of getting out of this group for our hosts. But before that, we have got Carnotaurus Man taking a crack in Vurg. Then we have the champ looking to bounce back from defeat, taking on Mulberry. But up first, we have got a clash of heavy hitters between Storm and Khalid. Hmm. This could be an interesting match. This could be a very quick match. Right, in the red corner for Storm, we've got Super Rajasaurus. Awaken mode on free. It's got the death fire as well, not that it needs it. And yeah. Why I say this could be a quick match, because both of these guys have very hard-hitting moves. The Shant with the crit, obviously, and Rajasaurus with the Awakened hit, possibly, and a Deathfire. Right, in the blue corner for Kali, we've got Shant and Gasaurus. This Shant was super impressive against Mulberry in the previous round for Kali. We really saw how resilient it can be. Very impressive. And it can hit hard too. Oop, we start with a tie. Um, the key for Storm here is to, well, get a hit like that for a start. They don't want the Shant to build up defensive resilience too early. Otherwise, it'll be a nightmare to kill. Unless you hit it with a death fire. <laughs> but yeah, that's just the start. The Storm wants an early hit. A big hit as well. Tie. And that's a crit. Very good start from Storm. Coming out the blocks. And wow, we didn't kill it. Hmm. Overestimated Raj's crit there. Ooh, Khalid does get a hit. Now, get defense boost, which will do nothing because the champ is on such low health. So Storm won't mind that too much. Oh, you'll mind that, though. And you'll mind what's about to happen because it's awakening time. It wasn't a big hit from Khalid, but it could be a crucial one. It stopped Storm getting a death fire on his second dino. And it could stop him getting an awakened hit on that second dino. Okay, well it won't. But that does get rid of the death fire. Right, coming in next, force Khalid, we got Tajongasaurus now. Rajasaurus could still get a big hit on this thing. The Magma Blaster has been triggered. The Burning Dash has been triggered. So any hit Storm gets is going to be a big one. That tie is probably exactly what Storm wants. Yes, the death fire is wasted. It doesn't matter. This could be a pivotal hit in the match. Oh, and Storm gets it! That could be a massive hit in this match. I think this might even be lethal. Because Burning Dash does a lot of damage. Oh, look at that! Massive hit from Storm. And Khalid yet to fire a big shot in this match. And then there it is. 2-0 the Storm. Right, coming in third for Khalid, we've got Magasaurus. Um, he's got type advantage, he's got the shockwave, which I think Khalid is going to need if he wants to get back in this match. But yeah, that awakened hit. Massive turning point for Storm. And we saw it in their last match. They got a big death fire off, it swung the match his way. Has that burning dash done the same? Oh, I forgot he's got this bloody lame ass move. Okay, there is a hit. The Rajasaurus does go down. But has the damage been done already? And remember, Maximus comes in third with type advantage as well. But at this stage, Storm will probably be eyeing up a bonus point win. Right, coming in next for Storm, we got... Oh wait, 
super kind of tortoise waiting mode on free. Well, if he gets Hurricane beat off, he won't need an awakened hat. <laughs> Can Khalid recover from that Big Mac burning dash? That's a tie. Oh, that's another hit from Carnotaurus. Well, that's a hit from Carnotaurus. Not much damage done, though. But that does trigger the Mayfly. Ooh. A Neptune stream coming from Amargosaurus. Well, provided I get this right... This is going to be a massive hit from Khalid. Oh no! No, I tapped it! Ugh, that sucked. Oh, that's a hit from Carnotaurus. That's a crit block as well. And the Awaken mode to come as well. That could be a big hit for Storm. Elemental Fusion! That means that a Carnotaurus will be going for paper. And gets it! There's the win for Storm. Okay, the net, it didn't matter. Storm was going to win anyway. The Carnotaurus would have survived anyway. Massive hit from Storm. And it's a bonus point win, which puts them second. Well, they were bottom in round five, four. And now all of a sudden they're sitting second. How quickly things can change in this tournament. As for Khalid, well, they'll just have to do it all on the in the final round. But they're still well in with a shout. Right, on to our next match. Right, in the red corner for our champ master we've got Eel Carcaria, Omega Eel Carcaria. Um, yeah, they suffered their first defeat of the tournament last time out. Looking to bounce back here against Mulberry. And a win here for master would secure top spot should Varga and Echo Fury lose their matches. Right, in the blue corner, for Mulberry, we've got Papasaurus. What field is this? Sunset Beach, that's good news for Master Ship. The Spino will get terrain advantage in this match. And because the Spino is also Blitz type, it'll, get, it'll go for two crits as well. But we'll come to that later. But the terrain advantage will play out first, and then it'll go for the two crits. Oh, that's a tie. Now, the Papasaurus is willpower type, so ties do make it stronger. But it is the champ getting the first shot of the match. Some of the tie. It's a solid start from Master Shin yet again. And all the more while, that Omega bar is filling up, which is not good for Mulberry. Can they land a hit? Oh, it doesn't look like they're going to. Come on, stop giving us ties. Ah, there we go. And it is a hit for Mulberry. Good damage done there. Hmm, interesting. So you had a lot of ties. So I'm not sure if the willpower buff stacks. Because we had a ass ton of ties. Okay, that's not good for Mulberry. The Omega bar is filled. And Papasaurus goes down. Right, coming in next for Mulberry, we've got Alpha Chasmosaurus. This is a big moment in the match here because if Master Ishian gets off an Omega Phoenix, with the terrain advantage the Spino's going to get, plus the two Blitz crits it could get, this match could be over. Right, got into the code now. Jakama Omega Big moment in the match this could be. Oh he gets it That's a massive hit from Mulberry. If our Omega Phoenix activated, that'd be 2 0 Maastricia. And it'd be a long way back, but Mulberry gets a huge hit there. And keeps the Chasmosaurus breathing. Well, for now. 
Anyway, coming in next from our tradition, we've got the Blitz type Spinosaurus. Now, because it does have terrain advantage, it will go get the terrain hit first, which will be scissors, and then it'll go for the two crits. So Mastrishian will get the next hit in this match. Hmm, decent damage, a tech boost activated in there. Right now for the two blitz crits. Okay, there's one. Ooh, got that one though. But unfortunately, since the side the rock wasn't hit on ten, it won't get a blitz buff, but it'll still get a crit, and I'm sure you'll take that. Massive hit from Master. Oh my god, he almost killed it. Now, an Aqua Javelin year would finish the job? No. But that hit well. And Maastrician well. Takes out the Chasmosaurus anyway. <laughs> Ooh, now interesting year. Coming in food for Mulberry, we've got Carnotaurus. It is heroic type. And well, wait, one thing you've got to know with Carnotaurus is all about the crept. One hurricane beat would get Mulberry right back in this match. But at the minute, our champ Maastrishia de delivering another solid performance. Yes, yes, come on. It's a tie. Oh, that's a big shot from Mulberry. That's a crit. Yeah, look at that. Non-hurricane beat. The loads of damage. Tight. Don't think this is going to be a bonus point win for Maastrishan. Okay, is this lethal? I don't think it's going to be. No, I didn't think so. Oh, but that's a big crit from Maastrishan. Well, he may not get the bonus point win, but look at that. The Tarkia will... Well, he might get a bonus point win. Oh, hang on a minute. Is this lethal? Oh, I killed it! He freaking killed it instantly! And Maastrishian does indeed get a bonus point win, which, well, provided that Varga and Echo Fury lose their matches, will secure top spot for them in this group. The champ bouncing back in style. Right, on to match number three. Oh, the Sunset Beach Field again. Okay, in the red corner. For Carnotaurus Man, we have got Super Despicosaurus, Awaken Mode on 3. Victory for Carnotaurus Man would take them third in the table. Well, a bonus point win would put them joint second with Storm. Um, I can't remember if they have the head-to-head -head on Storm. I think they do. But who can tell? Anyway, in the blue corner for Varga, we've got Torvosaurus. Victory for Varga would guarantee their place in the last 32 round. It will put them five points clear of Mulberry and Khalid. So plenty to play for for these two. Um, I can't... Yes, Varga does have terrain advantage in this match because they do have the dual Borrier in second. Ooh, Varga gets the first shot of the match. Tech boots activate in there, which means we'll probably see some Volcano Burst action in this match. Both of these two have very good scissors crafts. I think the Spletosaurus hits harder, though. I will say that. Damn it. <laughs> oh, very hard. That's a firebomb. That's a massive hit from Carnotaurus, man. This might actually kill it. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I overestimated this crit a bit. So tie. Torvosaurus is tie type, so ties do favour it more. Oh, that doesn't though. That's another crit. And that will be all she wrote for Torvosaurus. Now, it's not all like negative for Varga, because like I said... Joe Borrier comes in next with terrain advantage. It will get the next hit, and it will in fact be a crit. So the Spletosaurus might go down here. Right, up next we got, well, Joe Borrier. <laughs> K 
can can Varga pull this back? He's got the Dino Stuffer to protect him as well. If the if the Despletosaurus survives to the Awaken mode. And it does. Elementor Fusion! Oh, it's a big hit! That's not good. That's a Magma Blaster. Type of Ant, it might spear him lethal, but... Oh, that's not good. Massive hit from Carnotaurus, man. Again, big hits in this match. Okay, well, there's the Aqua Vortex. It's going to finish off the Despletosaurus. Now, interesting. Both these guys got armor dinosaurs in third. Carnotaurus Man has Ace Dinotector. Varga has Maximus. Now, coming in next for Carnotaurus Man, we got Pachyrhinosaurus. Uh, it's got type advantage. So I suspect it will probably finish off the Joboria. Although, I will say the saving grace for Joboria is that its crit is not a water move. And it is heroic type, so... It's a mixed bag for Joboria in this matchup. If it gets a crit, it will do some damage. Oh, we're about to find out how much damage. Not too shabby there. Just under half health. Well, just over half health, I should say. Ooh, that's a tie. I think the Jobari does have Ocean Barnet. Oh, and it gets a... N oh, no, it doesn't. It's got Futaba Cannon. I think Pachyrhinosaurus should survive this. But it's another big hit from Varga coming back into this contest. And actually taking the lead. And that tie, sh yep, downs the Packy Rhinosaurus. Joboria really proving its work, and it's still got the Dino Stuffer as well. Hasn't used it yet. Right, coming in third for Carnotaurus Man, we got Ace Dino Tector. Yes. And I don't think he's got. A si I don't think he's got Dino Tector once this entire tournament. Well, maybe today will be the day.
Right, editing stranger coming in here, so for some reason that last match and the last bit of the third match, my voice didn't record, which was very, very, very annoying, especially since that main event was epic and I actually won. <laughs> but yeah, I'm back, we're going to go through the table and all the pre premonitions and we'll end the session there. So yeah, I do I do apologise for that, which... Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Maastrician gonna top this group five points clear of Varga in second, and they have the head to head on them as well. So that does confirm Maastrician will win Group B, thanks to that bonus point win over Mulberry. Varga in second place. I thought they were safely through, but they're not because my victory in the main event. And should these three guys win their matches and Varga loses, Varga will get knocked out. But yeah, they're not safely through yet, but one losing bonus point will pretty much do it. Then we have Storm climbing up to third all of a sudden. 11 points, that bonus point they got could be huge for them. And then our host, Stranger Gamer, in the top four by virtue of the head-to-head, -head, a massive result against Echo Fury. <laughs> oh, that, that could have gone so wrong with the Dino Tector. <laughs> But then we have Khalid and Mulberry on 8 points. And Carnotaurus, man, even though they're bottom, they still have an outside shot of getting into our top 4. So yeah, Group B is going right down to the wire. So the interesting match will well, it'll probably be Storm going up against, I think, Mulberry. That'll be the interesting match, because if Mulberry wins that, they'll be above Storm on the head-to-head. -head. If these two win... You know, is this 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 group is still undecided. Carnotaurus man could get a bonus point win, which which it could get a three 0 win, which would change everything. You know, it's it's a crazy crazy group, and it is going right down to the wire. But yep, well, except for Master Issue who's already through, <laughs> he can sit pretty and relax, and watch all these bottom dwellers fight for se fight for second. <laughs> right. That's going to end this session, you know, so I hope you enjoyed, and until next time, ta-ta!